guys, today we're going to be talking about my May favorites and for some reason I feel like it's been forever since I did a favorites video, but I did one last month, so not really sure what's going on there. But anyways, it's the end of May, it's almost summer, and it's time for the May favorites. Like always, we'll start with the makeup. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I'm in the shade 105, I think it's like the lightest or the second lightest one. And it's perfect for my skin, I'm wearing it right now. I got this foundation a while ago and I used it like on and off, but recently I've been using it every single day. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just loving it. I love the coverage that it gives, it doesn't break me out. I do still get oily throughout the day, so I just carry on my blotting sheets lot around you know where I need to but besides that I really like this foundation and I would recommend it if you haven't tried it. Next I have possibly my biggest obsession of this month and maybe of life. These are my new ColourPop shadows. I used them in a tutorial that I will link below my like pop of blue or something like that. I don't know what I was doing with my life before I had these. Seriously, I don't know how I was managing because these are so amazing. I have Lovely, um, I Heart This, and On The Rocks. These are so good. If you did not know, these are $5 each on the ColourPop website and if you spend over $30, I think, in the US at least, you get free shipping. So they are a very like moussey texture. It's kind of weird and I wasn't expecting it when I first got them. But I just apply these with my fingers and it works perfectly. You can kind of see like when the light catches them, but in person, these will take your breath away. Like these, seriously, they make my heart flutter. I love them so much. Next I have some lip products. This is kind of random, but this one is the Chapstick Total Hydration 3-in-1 Lip Care. I'm a huge Chapstick lover and I saw Holly Eats Lipstick do a review on these and she said they were so great, so I was like, let me give them a try. So I got the one in Soothing Oasis. It doesn't have any scent. Yeah, it doesn't have any scent at all, but these are so moisturizing. Like, if I need something that I know is going to moisturize my lips, I, it's this. It's this. It is so, so smooth. It really hydrates my lips and it makes them feel good. I feel like it is a new favorite chapstick. Also, can we, like, look at the packaging? Is this not cute? This is cute. And the next lip products that I have are actually the NYX Butter Glosses. I'm sure that you've heard about these. I've had these for a while, but I don't know. I just recently started getting back into them, like, to the extreme. I have three in total, but these two here are the ones that I've been wearing the most. Whoa. <laughs> I just did, like, a hot potato with this. So my top worn shade is Creme Brulee. And when I say top worn, I mean basically I've been wearing this every single day this month. This is just a perfect light pinky nude shade and it looks great over any lipstick, especially if I put on a lipstick and I'm like, eh, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it, and then I top it with this, good to go. And then if I am looking for a little more color but I still want that glossy appearance, I go for this one which is called Strawberry Parfait. It's more of like a purpley pink than a straight up pink like it looks in the tube, but it's perfect for this time of year, adds a nice light color. These are so smooth. Last makeup e related item is a brush. This is the e.l.f. smudge brush. I got this for $1 at Target and I've been using it so much recently. It's just this teeny little brush, very short and stubby, but it's perfect for smudging color under the lower lash line. So sometimes when I don't want like a more precise line under there, if I don't want to use an eyeliner or if I want to smoke out the eyeliner or smoke out a shadow, I will use this and it just works really great. And I mean, $1, $1. That's all I'm going to say. Next up, I have this nail polish. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color in Pacific Blue. First of all, look at this. Like, just look at this shade. I'm not wearing it on my nails right now, but I'm pretty sure I was wearing this in my last video or my last two videos. Pretty sure it was in my last two videos. This color is phenomenal. It is as bright on your nails as it is in the tube with a tan, which P.S. don't have a tan right now, but with a tan, this looks even better. It is seriously amazing. The formula is great. It dries quickly. It stayed on my nails for a solid week, like minimal chipping for a solid week. I apologize if you hear my dog in the background 
he's going crazy. Lastly for beauty, I have a hair care product. This is the L'Oreal Curve It Curl Taming Cream. If you did not notice, but if you watch them, I'm pretty sure you noticed, I have very curly hair, like naturally curly hair. This is actually the first time I've straightened it in a while. When I wear my hair curly, I want the curls that are there to still be there, but I don't want them crunchy. I hate when it still looks crunchy and it still looks wet, even when it's not wet. You know what I'm talking about? hate that. With that being said, I don't think this is like my holy grail hair care product for curly hair, but I do really like it. I feel like it holds the curl and I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but what I do is I'll get out of the shower, use my detangler, I'll do a pump and just kind of like run it through this side, another pump run it through this side, and then one final pump and I'll just kind of like go like this get it everywhere, and then I'll just let it air dry. And it's worked for me, I do like it. But please, if you have curly hair, let me know down below what your absolute favorite hair care product is that leaves your hair curly, but not crunchy and not wet looking. My last favorite, I feel like I've been talking forever, but we're at the end, is an app. And this is very random. It doesn't have to be an app. I also have this in book form. Let me tell you what it is. It's the game Sudoku, the number game, I'll show you. I don't know why I've been so obsessed with this lately. I kind of go through phases where I'm really into it and then I don't touch it for months. But lately, I don't know, I'm all about that Sudoku life. <laughs> I am just so cool. Like really, I just, I'm, I'm too cool for my own good. So I've been playing it on my iPad and I just have the Sudoku app. I don't know, I searched like Sudoku free and it's a little smiley face with the word Sudoku after it and the picture is like of a guy like this. I like this one because it gives you new puzzles every single day and there's a lot of them. So there's like easiest, easy as pie, picnic, simple, mild, moderate, blah, blah, blah. So basically I've been playing that to wind down before bed or like right before I'm going to sleep, I'll just play a quick game and I don't know, it just like relaxes me and it makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my brain. So, okay, I feel like I talked for a very long time. If you are still with me, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it and I love you. And I guess that's all I have to say. So as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon. Bye. Here we go. I can't get myself to start the timer. Just do it. Just do it. Here we go. Oh my gosh.